Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. A while ago, a game called Iron Rebellion popped up randomly under VR games on Steam, and I was immediately enticed by the premise. Large battle mechs duking it out to the death and being able to command it all from inside the cockpit in VR like you are actually there. Unfortunately at the time, it was also just a free demo and the reviews were, well, less than remarkable we'll just say. Feeling a bit turned off by this, Iron Rebellion fell off my radar until the other day when I noticed it was available for early access and the reviews were much, much better. For $15, I couldn't say no. As a fan of previous and current mech franchises like Mech Warrior and in general the Battletech universe as a whole and games like Armored Core, I was excited by the thought of piloting a massive hulking 50 ton battle mech in VR. The second I loaded in and began the boot up sequence to start the mech, it immediately tickled all the nerd parts of my brain that just has a special love for battle mechs for some reason. What do I press now? All these buttons and sh Oh, yo! Yo! <laughs> it's a bad ass, bro! It's kind of hard to explain how exciting it was as someone who failed to get the Mech Warrior 5 VR mod to work to now be manually starting up my own battle mech in a different game in VR. This here is peak VR for me. Goodbye, everyone. You'll never see me again. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. Bye. That's the end of the video. No, I'm kidding, obviously, but seriously, this is like the apex of VR, the absolute climax, the peak of my nerdiness manifested in VR. This has literally been my dream since I was a child, and no one is taking that away from me, so get wrecked, mate. It was really amazing how intuitive it felt to pilot this incredible machine in VR, how well the developers did, making you feel like you were encased in this tomb of 50 tons of steel and titanium and were navigating across fields over structures and the physics were just seriously impressive and massively fun to experience. I think right now it was just the 1v1 and social mode that was available, only two weapons to choose from and one pilotable mech, but it is early access and the game was only $15. But holy f**k, it was insanely fun. Seriously, SoulBC, who you've probably seen on this channel before, who also makes VR YouTube content. Check him out, link down below. Anyway, we jumped in and maybe got a, a little too competitive with each other. It's horse I already got it. Get wrecked. I know it. I'm gonna get you. Bro, if you look, if you look outside your cockpit, Okay, I was stalking. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait to look outside your cockpits. <laughs> but we couldn't stop playing. We played for at least a few hours for our first session, and that's not including what we've played since then. There were a couple minor glitches, nothing game breaking, and I think that's to be expected in an early access title. I think at one point Soul's mech was pulling an R2-D2 and spinning out of control on death, but that's honestly just entertaining. And of course I had just stopped recording before that happened too. Iron Rebellion's weapons, at least the few that were available, were fun as hell to use. They had distinct advantages and disadvantages to each one. They felt relatively balanced, but I would say unless you have laser-like focus and aim, you're gonna want the plasma cannons for shorter distance engagements and the ballistic cannon for longer range engagements. Also, a scope or zoom function, even a small one, would probably go a long way towards helping to further balance the weapons out in my opinion, but that's admittedly a pretty small gripe. The map was impressively detailed and massive. I was definitely surprised by how well developed and thoughtfully crafted the one map that we experienced was, and the game mode where you're capturing data points to compete with your opponent 
was an interesting twist, sort of like a shorter version of a moving King of the Hill game, essentially, which was a lot of fun. Apparently, this is also being done by just two dudes in a basement somewhere, which again, I gotta give props where massive props are due, especially considering how few glitches were experienced, how just good everything looks. Like, seriously, look at it. Oh my god, in VR, it's so amazing, and there's just, there's all these buttons, just so many buttons, and I want to press them all, and all the time I hit the buttons, the little microdoses of serotonin that get released every time I push them, and I'm met with mm, delicious little electronic noises that chime at me, and they want me to keep pushing them, and they demand I push them, they need to be pushed, I push all the buttons, but uh, yeah, Iron Rebellion's a blast to play, you should definitely get it. If you're into big robots and battle mechs, or I mean, even if you aren't, Soul really isn't, and he said he loved it. Also, check out his channel link in the description down below. Also, like, subscribe, link in the description down below. Also, comment, link in the description down below. Do the YouTube thing where you, you hit like, slap, smash, and stuff, and things, because algorithm stuff, you lay you. All right. Basically, just get Iron Rebellion. It's good. I'm stoked to see what the devs improve on in the future. I know they're working on releasing a 4v4 in the next update they release, so maybe I'll make a meme montage. I mean, a gameplay video of that. Link in the description down below. I'm gonna get out of here. I got some robots to blow up. I love each and every one of you beautiful feather muckers. Gramsy out.